Hello and welcome to another video. In this video I'm talking about the Tamiya 135th M41 Walker Bulldog I've been building. I assembled the chassis and hull and turret before spray painting it. Uh, so this is just the parts of the tank before painting. As you can see the parts are well put together. Although it doesn't come with very many pieces, the tank does actually have a lot of detail on it. You can see all the grills and the lifting handles for the engine bay. Here I'm building the turret and the instructions show you how to add the canvas gun cover but it doesn't actually give you the pieces. And what you're supposed to do is glue polystyrene bag over the front of the turret or gun mantle. You're supposed to glue thick threads down and then fill the gaps in with small threads, but I also with the thick threads. The real tank has a metal cover piece, which I've been personally using another piece of string and pieces of paper to hold it down. It looks fairly realistic once I've finished painting it. And if you airbrush the polythene bag, the paint doesn't crack so much. Also, if you brush on diluted white glue, it also helps keep the paint on the bag. Here I'm adding some corrosion damage to the exhaust and the metal area just by the exhausts. I'm using a slightly different version of the hairspray technique. Um, I basically just painted enamel paint mixed with some pastel pigments to impersonate the rust and then spray painted acrylic over it because I can then use water to wash off part of the acrylic without damaging the enamel rust underneath. wheels are just painted olive drab and then XF85 rubber black for the tyres. The tracks are supposed to be metal with rubber chevrons or treads on it as you can see here. For this I just painted every single one of the raised treads rubber black and then I later one went over the metal parts with a rust effect. I only wanted to lightly weather this model so I'm not going to add any heavy mud effects or anything. I dry brushed raised areas with a metallic grey to impersonate damaged metal edges which you'd find on the tank obviously. also used a soft graphite pencil as well because that produces the same effect but also adds some more grime to it as well. I then added a white pastel effect for dust because this is meant to be driving on a gravel or gravel road which in New Zealand produces a lot of dust on your vehicle. For the rust on the tracks, I just used pastel pigment mixed with some acrylic paint and brushed that on and it worked out really well. This model is based on a real tank which is currently in the Bovington Tank Museum in England. Um, this model was slightly different from what your tank looks like, so I glued a toothpick, or cut down toothpick, to the front of the headlight guards. The real tank has a metal bar going across there and I think mine looks fairly similar. The actual tank no longer has kit attached to it either so I just went a bit more creative and glued on some spare pieces of kit I had from another accessory kit. 